Kia ora friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video I'm going to be making a bit of furniture for the little duck cottage. This will be in 1 48th scale or quarter inch scale furniture and I'm going to start off by creating this little fireplace. A lot of the uh, projects that I'm going to be doing today are actually kits and one is actually built from scratch. So what I've done here is just put a bit of black cardstock at the back just to give the uh, illusion of depth into the fireplace and I'm just installing a little uh, nano LED light to give the glowing effect of the fire. I've used some chalk pastels to give it a look, look like it's been smoking, the fire has been smoking above and that's just in a bit of black and then I'm just taking a few twigs here to build out some logs into the fireplace. Using a little bit more of some chalk pastels and some grey, I'm just going to give some sort of ash and soot effect and then I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of the project for the wire to feed through underneath. That's one little project out the way. Let's move on to creating some lounge chairs. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to paint them while they're still on their little card or their little sprue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint these evenly on both sides just to eliminate the amount of warping that could potentially happen with them. It's, it's very thin little um, pieces of wood and so once they were fully dry now I can cut them out and then glue them together. For the upholstery what I'm going to do is actually use a little bit of batting and this is quite thin batting and a lovely very thin cotton fabric and then I'm just going to wrap that up like a parcel. And I'm going to do that for the two bottom cushions as well as exactly the same for the two back cushions as well. So four of them all together. For a little bit more decoration I've got this little lovely little checkered fabric and I'm just going to make a couple of little cushions and a throw to go over the arm of the chair. So for the bed this is also a kit and I'm just going to put that together in the same way as I've done all of the others and then I'm just going to put a really light watered down stain. It's a mixture of acrylic paint and water and I've done that for all of the wooden look furniture. For the covering of the mattress, what I've first done is actually painted the wooden piece white and then I'm just going to cover it with a bit of white fabric. You're not really going to see this, you'll see it a little bit at the end of the bed, but I just don't know what will be seen so it's better to cover it completely. 
and then just using a little bit of leftover of that batting that I use for the lounge chairs I'm just going to wrap that around in the same fabric as I've covered the mattress and create a little pillow and I've also got this other fabric and all I've done is dip that into a mixture of glue and water and then placed it on the bed and put some folds in the fabric and then I've set that aside to dry. So once it's dry then I can trim off the excess and because it's got glue in it it'll stop it from fraying as well and also it doesn't mean that I have to hem it to add extra layers into the fabric especially at this scale. And then I've just got another piece of fabric that I've just folded over a couple of times and I'm just going to glue that to the end for a blanket. Moving on to a little light, I'm just going to string up some series of beads and jewellery findings to create a, a little lamp. This I think is probably a little bit too big so I may even go back and just adjust this ever so slightly but I think it still works perfectly fine. And then I've got these little barrels and I thought this would be ideal as a little side table next to the bed. It's quite sort of small and narrow and could potentially be storage for the off-grid living. So I thought that would be quite appropriate. And then I'm just going to drill a hole down the butt into the base and then thread the wires through. And this will sit next to the bed, which I can now put into place. So that's what that's looking like. Moving on to the dining chairs, these will be nice and simple. I've got two of these. And again, these are a kit. Most of the kits come from Petite Properties, which is where the actual kit for the house comes from. So a lot of the furniture that will be in this build will be either kits like this that have been laser cut out or they'll be scratch built like this little table right here. So I'm just taking some cocktail toothpicks and these are the ones with the little decorative ends but I'm wanting to exaggerate the uh, endings of them and just round them out a little bit. So I'm just taking a nail file. So I'm just working my way around to create a little bit more like a turned leg. So for the tabletop I've just got a piece of scrap wood that's three quarters of an inch wide and I'm just going to square that up. I've just got some cereal box cardboard and I'm just using that for just around the edge of the table and that will allow me to give a little bit more surface area to glue the legs to. And then once they are glued in place and everything is all dry I'm going to give it a coat of the same wash of the acrylic paint, brown paint and water and I'm just going to do that over the top and then that will blend the wood or the two different parts, two different woods together as well as the cardboard and you'd never know that it was actually cardboard. So that's it for this week everyone and if you've liked this video give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel and until next week everybody I'll see you then. Bye for now.